Marcus Dak has also got a clue in on the closing down as well. Harry Carble went chasing the goalkeeper down there to make him play it early. And Marcus just stayed off the defender. So we've got poor ball that from Harry Taylor. Giving away to Callum Whelan. To the edge of the area it goes. The shot is blasted over the target by Conor McBride. Grayson gets it back though. Can't get the uh, cross in, but keeps possession by playing it back. And here's Ed Francis again, turning into the penalty area all around the Blues box. It's a little one-touch stuff by Gateshead. South and United having to get people back. Dinanga gets a shot in, and it has just gone wide of the target. Flashed across the six-yard area. If they just stay off for a minute and let the man have the ball, and then go, right, now we're all ready, and everybody go in. Gateshead have shown they're prone to give it away. Should have been offside then. Dinanga is... Failing, fouled by uh, Nathan Ralph. Free kick for a Gateshead in a dangerous position, 25 yards out to the right-hand side of centre. Back in the side this afternoon. Francis stepped up, strikes it left-footed, pushed over the top as it was goal bound by goalkeeper Colin and Dengen D. Really good push away. Concentrated at all times with the young shot stopper out for a corner. Corner kick for uh, Southend United. Bridge takes that down for Wes Fungook. Bridge on the apex of the penalty area. Lifts it to the back post. Oh, it was flying in but couldn't connect. It's gone out of play. Miley playing it for uh, Miley playing it back to the uh, goalkeeper Colin Dengen D. He plays it forward down the middle. Cardwell goes down under pressure. Referee in. had a good look at that and says play on. And playing on they are against said Breaking is Luke Hannett on the left. Hannett inside to Francis. Behind him is uh, Wes Fungal. Pushed into the area. McBride has the it's shot. Blocked well by Colin Dengen D. Follow up is cleared away by Gus Scott Morris. Doing really well there, the South End United shot stopper. It remains nil nil. Blues bring it up from the back. They get it away cheaply once more. And Gateshead are going to get another chance. McBride turning to the edge of the Blues area it goes. Plays it wide. Luke Hannant crosses to Whelan, 20 yards out. On one more to the far side for Richardson. Richardson back to Whelan, inside to Richardson. Pull it back towards McBride. Here's Dinango in the shot, and again, blocked by the goalkeeper on the iron, and the rebound has gone in, and the star striker gets his 18th goal of the campaign. Marcus Dinanga eventually gets past Colin and Ding and D. Stopped a couple of times in that particular foray forward, but not the third. And Gateshead have taken the lead. It's 1-0 in favour of the visitors. Yeah, and there must have been, I don't know, four, five, half a dozen players in blue shirts guilty of ball watching. They're all watching the man on the ball and not seeing runners go behind them. And then all they do is just tow it in behind you. Morton has given the ball away in the midfield. He said, trying to get away up towards McBride it goes, but uh, woken up by Crowther, spotted the danger there. Here is Nathan Ralph along the ground, one for uh, Cardwell to chase after. That was seen, but the loose ball has been picked up by Nor who's seen on the left-hand side, which plays it back. Here's Cav Miley, holds it up, 20 yards out on the left-hand side. Can Blues get the cross in? Noisin does. Here's a oh, shot to the near post taken eventually, and Nathan Ralph is denied. We're in the first and additional eight minutes. Bridge with that corner. Headed down by Cardwell. Cleared away. Off the line somehow and out for another corner. Corner kick for South End United. Right hand side this time. Bridge takes it. Flying header by Ralph. Again, it's in the woodwork. Need it to advance South End. They do advance it. Glanced on by Cav Miley, and the referee's whistle goes. Gateshead get a hard-fought victory.